Separated by war, tested by battle, bound by friendship. There's the tagline on the on War Wars by Michael and Michael Mapurgo. And it doesn't let you down. The tagline is spot on. This book is a great read. Um, if you haven't if you don't know what war horse, war horse is, or if, if you haven't seen the film, I'll give you a little bit of a a little bit of a breakdown what War Horse is. War Horse follows a horse called Joey who you meet at a horse market and he's brought by Mr Narricot who is a farmer to help you know plough the field and um, he meets Albert and Albert and Joey form a very special bond with each other. Unfortunately, unfortunately as the story progresses it's um, the army comes to town as World War One has just been announced that Britain is going to war with Germany. So unfortunately, Mr. Narrowcourt can't keep Joey because of money and debt and things like that. So he sells them. He sells Joey to the army, and that's the first real sacrifice that people in Britain made those days. They sold their horses to the army to help in the war. And that's the first big sacrifice that Albert has to make is to, you know, lead, you know, to stay and Joey goes off to to war. Um, Albert really desperately wants to join the army at that moment, but he can't because he's too young, so he has to wait a few years before he can join the war. So he has to say goodbye to Joey and he says in the book, um, I'll find you wherever you are, Joey, or I will find you. And that just like brought me to tears. Um, Joey goes off with the British Army and he meets another horse called Topthorn um, and uh, Captain Nichols I think as well who looks after Joey and keeps his word to Albert that he will look af after Joey and he does that um, the horse um, the first couple of chapters um, before they go off is Joey and Top Joey and Topthorn are trained up to f you know to carry the carry the soldiers um, and then they go off to France um, and they're in France for a little bit before they go off to the front line and the bit where <laughs> they go off to the front line and they actually fight he write, Michael Mpurga writes it so well for a children's book he writes for children and adults as well and you will get it the children will get, will get that bit it's really um, emotional as well because you know what happens and then um, as the book progresses Joey and Topthorn just meet a lot of different people so they meet this lovely grandfather and his granddaughter called Emily who lost her parents and her family in, in the fighting so this is like happens uh, um, you know over a couple of years to be on it to be honest it come it start it starts from the you know when war is announced all the way to the to the end of the war and yeah so during top Thorns day with this grandfather and his granddaughter and they go off with the German medical army medical army to help bring the wounded soldiers to but you know wounded soldiers to get medical help they do that for a couple of years and then they don't need them anymore so they stay with grand with the grandfather and um, Emily for a little bit um, until another section of the German army come but they're not too nice so they take them away to carry the big fat guns and unfortunately Top Thorn isn't at his best and there's a scene if you've read the book if you've watched the film you know what I will mean it's that scene that scene brought me to tears I'm not going to tell you what happens because I don't want to spoiler it if you haven't read it it is that scene and it brought me to tears and it leads nicely to that iconic scene in the film you know in the film that iconic scene where Joey is running through no man's land covered in wire and things like that and there's a beautiful beautiful scene with the two army soldiers who help get Joey out and for one glimmering moment they work together and it's so funny when they toss the coin to decide who gets Joey and then Joey obviously the Welsh guy the Welsh soldier because he's Welsh he wins and he takes top, um, Joey back to the behind the scenes of the English army and that's where he gets reunited with Albert and that is such a tender moment in this book it's so beautifully beautifully written it's so funny when Albert is telling his friend what Joey looks like um, and then the realization that oh it is Joey I'm you know I'm washing your horse and yeah and oh and the the end of the book is just so superb and you know heart wrench you know it's heart wrenching and because and it has a happy ending 
this is a book that does have a happy ending it has a happy conclusion because the theme of this book is war and obviously there is going to be death and you know unhappiness but at the end of this book it's a heartwarming story and Michael Mopurgo knows how to write I have the um, movie edition and it's got these lovely lovely movie pi pictures in this book I don't know if you can see that but there you go it's got these lovely movie pictures you've got one there you got one of Joey and Albert from the movie you got that one you got so yeah you, I got the movie edition I got I've got pictures um, the writing was a bit slow it did take me quite a while to get through it it's not a fast it's not a fast paced book it is quite slow it is only how many pages is it? it's 182 pages and um, it is the writing style is you know slow so don't don't plow through it take your time it's like really slow it is slow it's not a fast paced action packed book it's just a very very lovely heartwarming story and i I've, I've loved michael perg ever since i was in school i've read the butterfly line i've read why the whales came and i'm so pleased that the movie has kept some of the some of the scenes in this book and then they added extra of course because they needed to make it into a full length movie so um, they did in the movie they did add extra scenes that's not in the book but oh my god the book and the movie if you haven't read them or seen them go watch and yes so that is my review on um, Warhorse and let me know if you've read Warhorse or if you've read any other Michael Mopurgo book I am hoping to read more of Michael Mopurgo as well um, he does. He just just doesn't write for children. He does write for adults. This is an ad, this is an adult book as well as a children's book. It's a bit of both. The adults would get the theme, the the um, theme, and yes. And this is the first book I'm reading in my war war series, my um World War World War challenge because World War One is going to be a hundred years old next year. So I'm going to be trying to read a hundred war war fiction stories from any war from any wars. Just you know just as a bit of fun. So thank you for watching my review of Warhorse. I will um, see you in my next video, hopefully. Have a good Christmas and I will see you soon. Bye bye.